know if you're like me, but I struggled for over a decade with the mentality of I'm going to lose weight and then I'm going to tone up and why that actually was two steps harder rather than just doing it all in one. And I'm going to explain why. In our 20s, we have the most lean muscle mass on our body. Okay, here's our muscle mass. And so all it takes is a little bit of a calorie deficit that may be uh, going on a little bit of a run. Maybe it's just cutting a few of your calories and voila, it actually will work. Perfect. If it's, if it's great. And then you can lose the fat and you can automatically see the tonality. But what's different is after our 20s is when we start to lose this muscle mass. We think that we're going to see this tone underneath when in reality, a lot of women lose the weight and then they go, oh, crap. I don't fit good into my clothes at all. Wow, all my curves are gone. Wow, I look really kind of like soft skinny or like kind of flat looking. That's because the muscle is also going away with it. So when we're losing weight, we're losing three things. Do you know what those three things are? <laughs> Usually the first thing that's gonna go is water. The next thing that's gonna go is muscle. It burns a lot quicker than it does fat. And then the next will be our fat. Those are the three things that when we're losing weight and when we're losing our muscle, that is like losing our metabolism. That's the ability for us to really burn this fat more effortlessly. And so what happens is we start going into this weight loss, which is going to be shrinking this muscle underneath, which is therefore making it a lot harder. Instead of doing two steps by losing weight and then tone up, I'm gonna teach you how you simplify it and you do it all together. Like my little stick figure drawings. After the age of 20, you do not want to be saying weight loss anymore. All right, so you're taking the two steps out and you're just going into one. And what that means is you're gonna be losing just one thing. You're gonna not be losing three things, you're just losing just the fat, which is going to keep the tone and take out the bulk. What you're doing is you're coming at it from both sides, being able to go so much faster, so much more efficient, and so much more effective. So you're only gonna be losing just the fat, but you're going to be gaining strength and gaining that tonality. So by the time you do lose the fat, you're gonna fit into your clothes so much better. Your waist is gonna be so much more small and you're gonna see that definition. So it's killing like two birds with one stone. You may be asking, so how do I do that? So let's get into it. First, we have to understand that your body is extremely smart. If your body is not losing the weight right now, it's not about willpower. What it ultimately means is that your brain and your heart is going to take more of the precedence rather than the losing the weight. So if you're just seeing that there is this cycle that's just this roller coaster experience, it's because your body is focusing more on the things that it needs to protect the things that are more important to keep you alive and to protect you, rather than going into things like digestion or weight loss, those are gonna be an aftermath. So what we wanna do is start really being able to balance your body so that it starts to lose the weight efficiently, more effectively for you. So here is the roller coaster experience that I see a lot of my clients coming in with. They're like, I wanna lose five to 50 pounds plus. Like they always have a, like a number in their head that they want to lose. And so they are always thinking of that calorie deficit. They come in eating not that very much. They're doing intermittent fasting or they're just trying to go on the treadmill by burning off the calories. Like their whole mindset has been calories and it's not your fault because we've been conditioned that way. But what it's doing is it's creating a lot of the blood sugar imbalances. And that is what's creating the total misalignment with the rest of your body. That means the poor gut health going into the inflammation, the unbalanced endocrine system, the unregulated hormones, the slow metabolism, the sleep gets disturbed, the weight gain, the clothes are not fitting, the autoimmune disorders. And that's just the beginning of it. This is usually where the diabetes and the cancers, the diseases you have. I mean, your body is so out of whack at this point. We want to understand why. It comes back down to if you do not have the ability to know the tools to really start to balance your body, it will never change. Ask yourself right now, how many times have you kept trying and you thought that you were gonna lose the weight, you were guaranteed with all these programs or diets, but it's still not working. So that's the definition of insanity is continuing to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, beating our head against the wall, but nothing's changing. So let me show you what to do. 
So the first step is getting aligned with your truth. Common, a lot of us are in a lot of limiting beliefs. We're in mindsets that thinking it's not possible, that that it's just our genetics, it's our age, or something broken within us. And when we continue to keep having those thoughts, then the reality of it is you're right. You are going to be broken. You're never going to change. And so we have to come into your alignment with your truth. I have a three-step process that does that. And it takes your power back, which takes your control back. And then when we start focusing instead of on that calorie deficit, but more about the blood sugar balance, which I'll show you exactly what to do, exactly what I eat in a day so that you can find a customized, personalized plan for you to find that blood sugar balance. That's what's going to help lower the inflammation and improve your gut health. That is what really speaks to your endocrine system, creates the hormone harmony. You will have a faster metabolism, improved sleep. That in within itself is what's going to speed the metabolism to burn your fat. Can it happen more effectively, more efficiently? The answer is yes. Even if you're over the age of 20, heck yes. That's when you become more stronger, more toned. This is where you really look and feel your best. When you can put on those clothes, they actually start to fit better. And then ultimately what I see women doing is they're like, man, I feel like my life is more filled with that passion and that purpose. So ultimately, if you're trying to lose the weight and then tone up, just know that you are working way harder than what you should. You're doing two steps instead of the one. And if your weight is not coming off, what we learned today is that your body is probably more protecting its brain and its heart for survival rather than looking at your digestion and your weight to just easily come off. What I can prove to you is that in the first week, you're going to start to see the differences of what you were doing before versus what the truth is that you need to be doing. In usually about probably two to four weeks, you're going to start to really see it and feel it. You're going to have compliments coming in and maybe at first you're like, is it really working? But then we prove it in the before and after photos. When you start losing inches in your waist, and not only can you look and feel, but your clothes are starting to fit different, but it ultimately comes down to stop doing the calorie deficit programs. If you're in a diet program right now and it's not working for you, then stop. If you're in a program right now that is not putting a stress management tool in there that's really bringing you to your full alignment, then stop. If you feel like you're just heading this plateau or having this roller coaster effect, it shouldn't be that way. Stop. When you put yourself into full balance, at full alignment, and your body starts working with you, that is where the weight can come off. No matter what age you are, no matter what level you are, no matter what injuries or whatever elements you think in your mind that you think you can't change, just remember your thoughts are so powerful. They are. No matter what you're saying to yourself is the truth. If you think you can't change, then it's true. If you think you can change, then it's true. So if you're wanting to know more information about this and you want to speak to me a little bit more about maybe your current situation, go ahead and just DM or comment or message me back so that we can continue our conversation and get you started to really living that life full of passion and purpose that you know you're meant to live. There's a higher self in you that knows that change is possible. That's the girl I'm going to pull out. Let's get started.